Well, it is still summertime, which means we are still taking you along with our Central Illinois road trip. So this week we're actually stopping in Pontiac where there's a historical house with a presidential twist. And our Brianna Redman had a chance to stop by the Strubble House and she joins us now from our Twin Cities newsroom to tell us about the significance of the house. Brianna. Rebecca Durante, the Stravel House is one of two pre-Civil War homes in Pontiac and is known for its architecture and the fact that Abraham Lincoln spent some time there before he became president. Uh, Abe Lincoln spent an afternoon and an evening here. And by here, Dale Maley, president of the Livingston County Historical Society, is talking about the Stravel House, one of two pre-Civil War houses in Pontiac. Jason W. Stravel was a young lawyer who moved to Illinois from New York in 1855. And in January 1860, Abraham Lincoln was in Pontiac to speak to the city's Young Men's Literary Society. He gave a lecture in Pontiac. After the lecture, Mr. Savell said, Abe, why don't you come to my house and uh, wait for your train since it doesn't go back to Bloomington until about midnight. So they spent the afternoon and evening in the room right inside here. Politics is what people would expect to come out of a conversation from two lawyers. But the two also had a little fun when Stravel questioned Lincoln's height. Mm -hmm. So they measured Abe in the doorway. And he did turn out to be six foot four inches tall. After the visit, Stravel and Lincoln formed a friendship. Lincoln will become president in 1861, and Stravel will become a state legislator serving two terms in the House and one term in the Senate. And as for the House, it had many occupants over time and was ready for demolition. In 2008, it was about ready for the wrecking ball. And uh, three Pontiac gentlemen purchased the house with the goal of refurbishing it and donating it to the Livingston County Historical Society. It took 10 years before the house was restored and ready for a grand opening for tourists. And most recently in April, the Cervell House received acceptance into the National Register of Historic Places due to its unique carpenter Gothic architecture. And from 2008 to today, Maley says it was a community effort. It's just common practice for us in Livingston County to pitch in and help your neighbors and volunteer. And another fun fact is that Attorney Stravel is responsible for the building of the Illinois Reformer Boys Reformatory School, which we now know as Pontiac Correctional Center. Durante, Rebecca, 